Okay, so let's see how this works. Um, I just wanted to say I have not done a video since, yeah, I can't even remember. Well, it's been a long time. I have tried to post two more videos, um, and I even used YouTube's music in the background, the kind that it said you could legally use, and it just wouldn't post them. So I kind of gave up from posting for last season, but <laughs> I hope you can see the entertainment right here. Um, we just moved from the house we rented. We've had to collect our beds and get them up and all of this. So you're going to have just a little bit of an overview. I'll try not to make this too long so you can see what we took from our old house and our old beds. We still had a lot growing. <laughs> and uh, here in Washington, you can grow yeah. year-round certain Apple. things. We've had some hard frosts and some things have not done well. And um, so I hope you enjoy as we set up in our new place. This is what I'm salvaging from my kale trees. This is why I do organic gardening. So that she doesn't even have to wash it and she can just eat it. Here, <laughs> make those sounds again. Do you know what this is? What are you eating? What is this? You, what is it? Salad. It's salad. It's kale. I call them kale trees because this is what I just ripped them off of. Can you see how long those are? My beautiful garden beds are now going away. I've got to salvage their compost from the other beds. But that's all a part of moving. Woohoo! Okay, so here I have some of my seedlings. Again, a lot of this I'm not saying suggesting you should do, but since I have the space um, and this greenhouse, I'm experimenting even with things they say do not transplant well because I figure, well, I'm going to try anyway. And then I'll probably figure out why. These are different sunflowers that I have. I'm growing them for the seeds. Um, I bought two of what I think are the same thing. Um, the black dye and I have the fat mama also I have the confectioners and I think the last two are the same um, I have corn which is right here I also have some that I direct seeded and then I'm going to direct seed some later okay as quickly as I can because the sun is going down and it's getting cold and I still got a water Okay, so just moved. Here's our strawberry bed. This is actually one of the old beds from um, the old house and the raspberries are in the back. You see our new beds are going to be deeper only because I like a lot of roots. So some things need to be transplanted. Some things are not looking good, but I figure whatever. So I'm not exactly sure what's going where. Like these two squares are empty, but I've got turnips. I've got rutabagas. Oops, rutabagas. I've got a cacai pumpkin, which is going to take both of those spots. And around it, and in this square, I have garlic, cabbage. Um, I'm pretty sure this is oregano. I have Swiss chard and some scallions. A, a cauliflower right here. I've got Nantes carrots and Danvers carrots, so at the same time, I'm curious how those do. Hot and spicy mescaline. Burpees mescaline. Um, over here, I have some um, Bloomsdale long-standing spinach. I've got a kohlrabi, my little teeny bulb, 
and some I've got three six I've got nine leeks right here um, some Swiss very sad Swiss chard I'm pretty sure this one now is cauliflower especially when I compare it to the one that I actually see the little white head on maybe I'll show you just because it's fun Um, my lacinato kale. I'm gonna have tomatoes right here and tomatoes right here or peppers or something like that. I've got a broccoli that's really sad looking. I've got a snap pea, um, cabbage. Swiss, uh, did I call that one Swiss chard? This is collard greens. That's collard greens. Cabbage, kohlrabi, and the roots didn't look very good on him at all. So I'm curious to see if he'll survive. And this Swiss chard had great roots, but this poor guy, look how sad he looks. He looks pitiful. And um, Detroit beets. Um, okay, real quick, and in here I have um, Jerusalem artichokes, also known as sunchokes. I put them in there because one, they get very tall, and um, this is, you know, uh, that's our, south, our southern facing. And they spread, so I didn't want them just in the ground. Over here in my experiment, I would started these guys indoors and we've gotten some pretty cold weather out here, but this is corn. I've got some corn here, here, and here. Over there you see the corn and um, over here too I've got some corn right there. And I've just been keeping this on. We get a lot of wind over here. And uh, we're not done with our beds. And we've got a lot of... Oh yeah, I'm going to want that. Thank you for helping. So anyway, here's a... Now it's official Gratitude Ranch. <laughs> All right. <laughs>